First, I'm going to turn on the fan. It makes a lot of noise. That's why I'm turning it. OK, there's no water flowing. So with the fan uh, going, it sucked the ball up against the seat. OK, this is the ball right here. That's the seat. OK, now I'm going to turn on the water, which would represent condensate flow. And you will see the ball move away from the float. I mean the seat. And it's running at about 1.6 gallons per minute. This trap will pass four gallons per minute, but uh, like I said in the positive uh, display uh, or demonstration, uh, 1.6 gallons per minute is equivalent to 67 tons of latent cooling. Okay, you can see the pressure. It's about uh, one and three quarter inch pressure drop, negative pressure drop. Okay, <clears throat> the ball is away from the seat. Now I'm going to turn the water off, which represents no condensate flowing anymore. Now, as the water goes down, the ball's going to work its way to the seat. The water's got to get out of the standpipe. It'll, it'll, it's kissing it now, but in a minute it'll suck up against it and hold like it is now. Now, a little air is leaking around that trap. And, uh, Eventually, the water will all dry. It'll probably take a half hour for all the water up in here to dry out. But you're leaking probably 0.1% of the air that would normally go through a trap, with a dry trap, 0.1% or less. You can't feel any suction at the end of the drain line with your hand. OK? Now, Pretty a simple trap. You just have to make sure you put it in horizontal. This ball has to work its way against the seat, and it's on a rail. If it's sloped too much in the op opposite direction, the ball, even with a high pressure and a high flow rate, is not going to suck that ball up. So it has to be installed horizontal, or if anything, sloped a little bit toward the incoming water flow. Okay. That's it for uh, the negative trap.